Hi, I'm Sarah Lawson, licensed designer for Sizzix, and today I'm so excited to show you the projects that I made with my coin purse die. This die makes not only one size of the coin purse, but a second size as well. And they both feature the metal clasp on the top, and they're perfect for holding not only coins, but other items such as hand sewing supplies, thread, bobbins, or wonder clips. So the die features both the small and the large. You'll start with the cutting mat on the bottom, followed by the die. And because the die intentionally features one edge without the blade, you'll need to cut the fabric on the fold. To do that, I like to use a bit of washi tape to mark that edge so that I know where to line up the fabric. And you can also use scotch tape or painter's tape, any of those will work. So I'm going to align the washi tape right where the blade ends. Just be careful that you press gently because there is a blade under the foam. From there, you can easily fussy cut your fabric. So I'm using this great apple print and I'd like to have the apples lined up down the center of the coin purse. And so I'll fold the fabric right there and line it right against the tape. And it's really important to have the die go into your machine at a slight diagonal so that it'll cut more cleanly. And that die will be followed up by a second cutting pad. If your fabric needs to be snipped a little bit, go ahead and do that. And once you've got the fabric cut out, you'll need to cut out two from the exterior fabric, two from the lining fabric, two from ShapeFlex interfacing, and two from foam interfacing. After you've got the fabric cut out, you'll attach the exterior fabric using an eighth of an inch seam allowance. And you'll attach the lining fabric to the ShapeFlex interfacing, which was that thinner interfacing that you cut out, and you'll fuse that to the wrong side of the fabric using manufacturer instructions. After you've got all the interfacing attached, we'll move over to the sewing machine and sew the fabrics right sides together. For this example, I'll be making the large coin purse. So first you'll place the fabrics right sides together, and just so you can see, I've marked with a pen where those notches are so there's one notch on either side. And you'll start sewing both of the side edges and the bottom edge. And for now, we'll leave that little corner on each side unsewn. You'll be using a quarter inch seam allowance to sew that together. Okay, as you can see by the black thread, I started and stopped where the notches were, and then I also sewed that bottom edge. You'll repeat the same process for the lining fabrics, except when you go to sew the lining, leave an opening about three inches on the bottom of the lining and that'll help you turn the pouch right side out when you're finished. After you've sewn the sides and the bottom, you're gonna go ahead and pinch those corners that you left unsewn before. So you're gonna align the seam on the side with the seam from the bottom and you'll just pinch those fabrics right sides together and go ahead and stick a wonder clip to hold the fabrics in place. And you'll repeat the same process on the other end of the bag. Okay, now I'm going to take this over to my sewing machine and I'm going to sew this end and this end using a quarter inch seam allowance. So I've got the corners of my pouch sewn and I also repeated that same process with my lining fabric. So here's those same corners sewn in place. So the next step is to sew the exterior and the lining right sides together. So to do that, I'm just going to turn that exterior piece right side out. And I'm going to slip that right inside the lining fabric. I'm going to align the side seams and the top raw edge of the exterior and the lining. And I'm going to use my wonder clips to clip those in place. And it's really important when you get to the side seams that you really take a little bit of extra time to match those seams up and your pouch will look a lot nicer when it's finished and not have any puckers if you take the time to align those seams. Okay, now I'm going to take this over to the sewing machine and I'm going to sew that top edge of the pouch using a quarter inch seam allowance and I found it easier to sew half at a time. So I'll start at this half and sew down to the side seam and then I'm going to flip this over and sew the second half. Okay, so here I have that top edge stitched in place 
And if you'll notice, I stopped stitching right where the top edge met the side seam. And it's really important to do that, otherwise you'll have a bunch of puckers on the side seam after you attach the metal frame. So now that's done, I'm going to go ahead and take my scissors and make little notches on that top curved edge. And anytime you have a curved edge in a bag, you want to cut notches, which are little V's that you cut within the seam allowance, and those notches help the fabric lie nice and flat. Now that the fabrics are notched, I'm going to go ahead and turn the pouch right side out. Use a turning tool to poke those corners out, and then take your pouch over to your ironing board and give it a nice press along that top edge. Next, I like to close up that opening that I left in the lining. So to do that, you can either use your sewing machine and press the fabrics wrong sides together and sew using an eighth of an inch seam allowance, or you can sew it by hand and use a slip stitch. Next, it's time to glue the metal purse frames in. For the small pouch, this is what the purse frame looks like. And this is the frame for the large coin purse. And you can find both of these frames online. So to glue the large purse frame in place, I like using this Beacon 3-in-1 fabric glue. And the reason I prefer this fabric glue above others is that it's not as liquidy, so it doesn't make as big of a mess as some of the other fabric glues that I've tried. So first you'll want to test out that coin purse frame to make sure that you know how it will fit into your fabric. And this fabric edge right here will slip into the channel in the coin purse frame. Once you've tested your frame to make sure it fits on the fabric, it's time to apply the glue to the frame. I like to do one half at a time. And so you'll just take your glue and apply it liberally inside the channel of the frame. Then you'll insert your fabric into the channel and let that glue dry for about 30 minutes. After gluing the first side of the purse frame in, I let it dry for 30 minutes and then I went ahead and glued the other side in and let that dry for 30 minutes as well. And when you're finished, you have this cute coin purse. And go ahead and take your iron and press the bottom edge to give it a nice boxy shape. And so to do that, I just pinched in the corners and made a straight line with the fabric and took the iron and gave it a good press. And same thing on the other side. And then you'll do the same thing for the side edges. Pinch the corners and press. And then you'll pinch those corners and press as well. And your coin purse is finished. This is great for gifts, holidays, teacher's gifts, whatever you can think of. And as you can see, they're fast and easy to sew and put together.